Pratikaram, and for me, it was one of the best Malayalam films <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> Fahad Fazil killed it. For me, it was a decent film. By yeah. decent, I mean it was good. Like it was good, but I wouldn't say that for me it was like best like film. the best that I've seen because I've seen a lot of other Malayalam films that I felt like were a, a little bit more better than this. I mean, film. I've seen better Malayalam films, but I'm saying like if you just look at the story and the acting and everything, I don't know. I really like the story. I really like the film. It, it was one of those films. After watching it, you think about it. Right. You want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I was like trying to like you know talk to her about it. She was like, oh, that was so good. That was okay. I was like, no, <laughs> that was good. No, no, no. Let me explain myself. So it was very simple, and there were just a lot of parts where I felt like you know we're kind of slow you know i just felt like it was just it would just pick up a little bit faster mm. uh, that's what i was just saying the movie was very simple but yet it was very engaging you uh, one of the best feature about this film was it's just not about mahesh it's about, mm -hmm. it's about every other person somehow they're connected to mahesh it's about their stories as right. well like his uh, friend uh, baby chita and then other people like his uh, baby chita sister her husband, right. and it was just about like real people, and uh, that's why I liked it. The story starts off, and you kind of think that something's going on with Mahesh's dad. Yeah, I felt like I thought get maybe lost in the he gets of the film, lost, yeah. and I felt like maybe he had like Alzheimer's or something where he couldn't like come back home and stuff like that. But later, you find out in the story that he's really intrigued in like photography. That's what he used to do, and th that's one of the things. Like you know, when uh, Mahesh finds him in the forest, and they don't show anything no. after that, but you get a you. They show that towards the end, what he was doing in the fort. Yeah. That's why I like the film, how everything was just connected within right. the film. And uh, when Mahesh was at his low, when he had lost all his motivation. His... Because the love of his life married somebody else. Yeah. And, and I think that part was very interesting because they wanted to marry each other. And something very tragical happened with him where he was, he was very embarrassed. He felt weak. He right. felt like, I'm nobody. And because... The whole part was very interesting. The part when the whole Jangan Man thing happened and the, that guy loses his uh, like uh, fruits or something like that. Then he get pissed off. He goes to the house, uh, gets into like argument with his wife. Yeah. And the wife was like baby Cheta's sister. And that friends of uh, the wife calls baby Cheta and uh, tells him that uh, they're getting, getting into fight. And then he's trying to get in touch with his sister. But then his balance runs out. He walks to the right. store trying to like re, uh, add more money to his balance and he gets to and fight with this one guy and that guy was leaving the guy was leaving and the other the other person who was uh, playing baby chita's employee he has such a like a nice role in the film and he just comes back attacking the guy how dare you touch baby chita they yeah. get to fight and mahesh comes in it and then the this guy the villain and mahesh gets into a fight and the part was hilarious like you <laughs> you would think that Mahesh being a hero, he would beat up this guy. Exactly. He, you know, like, dhoti upar karke, <laughs> and then he like walks up to him, then he uh, bangs his head on the auto, <laughs> and that was just like funny. But then also like you feel bad for Mahesh, and he really can't, uh, he really can't like uh, protect him. I feel like maybe at that time he realized he's losing so much from his life. Like here he lost the love of his life. Here he lost like his. I don't know if he would say he lost his like is it or anything like that. It was more like how could I not beat this guy up? Like I felt like I'm defeated again. Yeah. Like he just felt that he was defeated because over and over when, again. Uh, because when he finds out then she's marrying somebody else. I think at that time the fact that he just got lost at this fight that he was thinking about that more exactly. about his respect. He wanted respect back. He let her go. He didn't really fight for it. No, because he was, he was like, like, if that's what you want, like, you're not know, even fighting I'm, for me. Yeah, exactly. She didn't fight for him, which was fine. But I'm thinking if that whole fight didn't happen, 
then maybe he would have fought for her. But the fact that he was thinking about the whole fight so much that how I'm embarrassed that I need to like redeem myself. And then I think the whole timing was like that and he didn't really fight her for it. And when he, uh, then he joins like a judo classes, he went back to like fight him. Then he finds out he like gone to Dubai and then yeah. the whole fight never happens. And when he finds out his address, then he falls in love with the uh, with the sister, with, <laughs> he doesn't know that's that's his sister, but right. eventually you find uh, he finds out. She also does photography, but it's not at that level yet. But he's been thinking this whole time that oh, he does like the best photography. People come. But and, I think like, he take got photos. so used to the whole passport photos, he that's forgot all he his was passion. Doing. Yeah, he forgot his passion. So the villain sister comes in and says, "I want you to sh like take pictures of me for like a cut, like a magazine, some competition or something." And he like takes that. horrible pictures. And he takes horrible pictures, and that's when she said, "What kind of pictures are these?" And she made him realize like you are taking bad pictures and maybe you can look and into how he realized else. this was really intriguing because he sees his father uh getting like a, a pictures out and that's the picture he took at the forest right we couldn't really tell what was the picture about she's a bat you thought it was a bat it i couldn't bat. i couldn't really tell what was it but th I, then i think he realizes uh, i need to do this too i like i have it in, within me and right. I, can, I, I just have to find out and with the help of the employee he takes really good pictures of that girl and eventually they falls in love eventually she tells him that i'm jimsy's sister and i know the whole thing that's going right. on i don't have problem with that but if you try to forget about it and then we can be together and stuff like that no but she tells him to fight him no she no she doesn't tell him to fight him she i think she tells him that uh like move on and everything then Something about that. She doesn't tell no, him to I fight him. No, I feel like a part of... No, no, no. I think what I think she says, like, you know, I, I'm just letting you know that I'm the sister. But and I, if you want to take care of, like, whatever you're... No, no, I don't think that happened. I think she really? just tells him to move on and everything. But now he, he him he's thinking oh, that God, either I move on and I swallow my pride and marry this girl. Like, you know, basically, like, bow down to this guy, ask for his sister hand and marry her. Or, like, what do I need more? And I was thinking he would, he would like, move on and then still ask for his sister's hand. But he was like, no. That part was, like, so... Like, I got goosebumps. And he was like, you know what? Forget this. He's I want my respect. Him. I want my respect He's back. I want him. the baby Cheta to look in my eye and be like, I'm so proud of you. Then he goes to fight him and he wins. And he wins the respect from everybody. And then the first thing he does before anything, he goes to the store be like... Let me get that chappal, yep. eight size, and he gets his respect <laughs> back. And the f and the movie doesn't end there. He goes to the hospital, and, <laughs> then he, and his mother was like, uh, uh, "What are you doing here?" He was like, "What are you doing here?" Then he tells him, "You know, I'm in love with your sister. She loves me. We we want to get, get married." married. Yeah. And then bam, the, the movie doesn't end there. The last part, the last dialogue, uh, his mother say. Yeah, this is nice. Like she must be thinking, you beat up my uh, my son. Now you ask for my daughter's hand. Like, this is nice. The movie just kind of ends there. They do show at the credit and like them romancing and they're like happy. Uh, they're happy now and they're married. And it kind of really shows that uh, sometime in life, like, you know, just because like one relationship doesn't work out, it's not the end, you know? Like sometimes you meet other people and sometimes, you know, that works out. I think the film is very simple and has a lot to do with him finding himself. It has yeah. a lot to do with sometimes certain people come into your life and they bring out something that someone else couldn't. Yeah. You know, so he found out that he his passion for photography has always been there, but yeah. it was hidden. He found out that, you know, this girl like changed his life completely. And yeah. maybe this is a definition of true love. And I feel like he finally understood his dad better too. Yeah. You know, as soon as he saw that his dad, like, you know, it was like his photography, he like had a proud moment that look you know my dad mm -hmm. like this is his passion too so everything just kind of fell into place he yeah. found his like true like dignity after fight like after fighting like yeah. the villain and then you know beating him so i think he really found himself and that's what this film has to do a right. lot with is that so we've seen many like fat fossil film like diamond necklace bangalore days take off and now this one but this one has to be my favorite film of his i think this movie just belonged to him like you know his acting was like top notch a lot of people were telling us he won a war for this film like best actor very well deserved not just him i think whole the whole team acted really well baby cheta and his employee had a lot of nice moments when he tells him like you better like stop hanging out with my daughter and then he breaks down when he realizes he doesn't have any bad attention then that part was really good and he, i think his his role was really good he's a big, a big fan of mohanlal and then the whole like mohanlal references we, which we get now <laughs> i think was really nice and i think 
lot like a lot of like very light moment it just makes you smile it did. and yeah so in that sense that that's why i really like this film thank you overall like i say amazing film really enjoyed it i liked it decent for me do but... let us know what was your favorite part from the film if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel follow social media keep sending your requests guys bye guys take care bye